I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to embed an Instagram feed onto your Shopify store. So let's dive right into it. We'll be using an app called Instagram Feed, and it does have a free forever plan that allows for a grid or slider layout. So I'll leave a link for this in the description below, but from there, I'll click install, and let's begin the installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, click install, and let's go and set this up. First off, we'll be asked to select a plan, and I want to use the completely free one, so I'll hit try for free. Next up, let's go and actually enable it, and then link my account. So right now, I'll click enable on the top here. It's going to ask me, are you sure? And I'll click confirm. So this is going to enable my InstaFeed dashboard, and let's go and link my account now. So I'll click link account. So once I click on that, it's going to bring me to the authentication page. These are already default toggled on and I'll just click allow here. This is going to link my Instagram account to this app so you can start fetching those posts. I can now see my connected Instagram account is Ecom Masterclass. So next up, let's select the number of images and I'll have to hit it, edit configuration. I can set this to, let's say 25 images as an example. You can also set this to be a grid or slider layout. I'll just click with the slider for now. And for the feed title, I'll just call this Ecom Masterclass. I can also set the number of rows. Let's go five and five. I'll hit update configuration there. It's going to reload my settings. I can see a brief preview on the right here. But let's go and actually add this to our store. So on the left hand side menu, I'll click on online store. And this will open up the Shopify themes section automatically. And I want to head to customize. Now this is going to apply to whatever theme you're using, but let's go and add this to our homepage first. So if I scroll to the bottom, I wanna add it below all my other sections. And if I go to add section, I can see the default sections available in this theme, but I wanna to navigate to the apps tab. And it's at the top here, because this is my last installed app. But if I click on Insta Genie app here, this is going to add a separate section. And there's the feed that I set up. It has five across. And it makes it easy to scroll through these different posts. And I can click on any of them by clicking on it. And I can see the product description. To finalize adding it to my homepage, I can hit save in the top right here. And I also don't just have to add this to my homepage. I could add it to the product pages as well. Let's say I want to click on this product here. On the left hand side under add section, I can then go to apps again clicking on InstaGenie. Now for each of my products, this will be showing here at the bottom. I'll hit save in the top right. And as an example, if we went to a different product, let's try this framed canvas. If I scroll down as well, I can see it there too. If you've made any money on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. That's where a sponsor profit calc comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations along with many different details, analytics, and metrics so you can truly understand your store's performance, letting you make smarter business decisions. It features a fully customizable dashboard and it's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It links with multiple cost of goods sold providers, so make sure you check it out. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can access the Shopify app listing directly, both of which get you access to that 15 day free trial. So this concludes the video here on how to embed your Instagram feed onto your Shopify store. We added it to both the homepage and the product page, but because of how it's set up, it makes it super easy to embed on just about any section of our Shopify store. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.